Hi, my name is Alexis Hernandez. I am a 20-year-old SDSU student, um, local talent, and my show, 105 Miles From Home, centers on a Cuban girl in the 60s fleeing communism through the Pedro Pan flights, landing in Miami and struggling with assimilating to American culture while maintaining her Cuban identity. I knew what was the best. Now I'm here and I worry that I won't feel at home. The show tackles themes of the American dream as it's not just an idea but an identity in itself and it also touches on historical elements and everything in the show is historically accurate. I wanted to dedicate this show to my family, my grandparents. This comes from my grandparents' story. Both of them were on the flights to Miami through Operation Pedro Pan in the 60s and when I was told about it I was very young so I naturally just did not pay attention to it at all. It wasn't until COVID when my grandma brought it up to me again and I realized that this is something I've never heard about. I've never been taught. We hear so much in the 60s about different stories from different cultures and you don't hear about Cuban stories. And I thought if no one was gonna tell this story then it was my job too and I've made it my life's goal to educate people on Operation Pedro Pan and the importance of telling Latin and Cuban stories. Send it all in the bubble. We have to tell her! She deserves to know! You're sending me away. Why don't you call to Then I'll tell you? What did you find out? I've never been here from school, Papa. I heard some ladies talking about it. They said that they're sending their children to America to live better lives. They said that it's because of. We do not say his evil name in this house. Do you hear me? He is the one forcing our hand into this. He's the one forcing us to. To send you away. We are hoping to help you sooner. Yeah, just tell me, Mama, because at least I'll have you to be with me. We cannot be there. And the show was a joy to create and produce. So all of the actors in 105 Miles From Home are San Diego State University students. And all of us are between the ages of 19 and 24. So very young, but very impactful storytelling that we're doing. Children in school were forced to bear arms, learn anti-American songs and slogans, and be constantly monitored by their neighbors. It definitely feels like every single day when I come in here there's something new that I want to try and just the sense that I'm able to do that and it's always a yes. It's never a no, let me see if it's okay with someone. It's always, you want to change the lights? Sure, let's change the lights. You want to change some lines? Sure, let's change some lines. It just feels like a safe environment for artists, growing artists who want a platform to share their art but also don't want the binds of Anything like that, just, just as I said, the ability to play is so important for an artist and Fringe offers artists that opportunity.